To use the key auth download feature, it's pretty simple. First thing you want to do is go ahead and select the application that you would like to download the files from. Then you want to come over to the files tab. And then up here in the top left, just click on create files and add the download link for that file that you would like to have downloaded. Below, you will see a checkbox that says authenticated. If this is checked, users will only be able to download after they have successfully logged in. If this is unchecked, then as soon as the program initializes, so basically right after it starts, it will download your file. So that is completely optional for you. For this video, I'll be showing you how to do it unauthenticated, but it's really simple to add into your authenticated project as well. I already have mine, so I will just be using this file ID. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and open up your program. I will be using the C Sharp console example for this. And since I'm doing it right after it initializes, I will be doing it right after this line. So I'm just going to enter. And then I'm going to search for download. And this is the code that we will be using. Then head back up to the top. And then right here where it says download and it has these numbers, I'm just going to change this out with my file ID. And that's basically all you need to do. It if this is not successful, it will tell you why, and then it will exit the environment. And if it is successful, then it will get the current directory and then save it as whatever it is. However, my file is not a text file. It is a exe, and I also want to save it in a different location. So the location that I'm trying to save it in will be in a folder called my app. So I'm just going to change that. So instead of doing all this, I'm going to do at my app slash combo.exe. Combo is just the name of the application that I'm saving it as. And that should all be set. And I'll just go ahead and delete this just so I can show you that it will work. I'm going to press start, let this build. Let it load, and then you will see that it is now connecting. And there it is. So now if I go back into here, you will see that my application is right here. Um, another thing, this is completely optional. Basically, if you got to this point, that is all you need to do for the download feature. And that is all. However, if you would like to have it so that your app automatically runs after you have downloaded it, you can simply do process.start my app combo.exe so now if we go ahead and press start let it load let it connect and then here you see that my app automatically loaded Again, that's completely optional if you want to or not, and it will vary depending on what programming language you are using, but hopefully this has been useful for you. If you have any questions at all, you can comment down below and also look in the first comment as well as the description for any links that could be helpful for you. Thanks for watching.